What is up, everyone? It is Diecast Buffet here again. Guys, we have one of the coolest Brad Keselowski 2024 paint schemes. He is rad. It is the Coca-Cola 600 BuildSummerins.com Ford. Amazing looking paint scheme. Let's go ahead and do a Diecast review. All right, folks. Rather good old box set. Let's dive into today's Diecast review. Guys, this is one of the coolest paint schemes of 2024. Look at the detail on this car. My goodness, there is so much going on with this paint scheme. Not only is there a ton of gradients, you have the chrome numbers, you got blue, dark red, bright red. You have kind of this transparent star pattern ribbon around the whole car. The top of the car has blue. Oh yeah, that has a gradient as well. And then you go over here to the hood of the diecast and you have, it looks like someone welding. Uh, with the sparks in the background very very well thought out paint scheme i'm telling you uh, rfk they got some cool designers over there man uh, of course pick this one up for my good friends over there at circuit diecast if you're wanting this diecast go ahead and tap in it's in stock right now at the time of this video it is the diecast chassis edition of it go ahead and get your copy today just promo code diecast buffet you can save as well so naturally this ran at the coca-cola 600 so they have the patriotic window banners right there uh, so that's a very cool thing i don't know how many of the coke 600 cars will be ran or made rather that ran uh, so uh, we'll see how many of them get made go here to the front of the car now this is before ford uh one of their their whatever their updated nose decal they changed the front end of the ford mustangs quite a bit in 2024 at first the headlights and, and the the mustang pony was a little too dark so they changed that and then they said, well, we don't want to put sponsors here, so let's just put the, the Ford Oval back on the car. Uh, naturally, this was before that. I think they started doing that, like, gateway early summer 2024, give or take. The gradient is around the entire car. I mean, there is a lot of detail here. Uh, very, very nice. So you've got the number six on the front of the car. you got RFK. Uh, once again, you have that, that ribbon design that kind of goes around the C-pillar, uh, where the door panel is and then it kind of loops around the, the fender well and the stars on it are just kind of transparent very very nice got to rfk right there go to the left side of the die cast and it, yes it also has the patriotic wheels i told you there is a lot going on with this paint scheme one of the most detailed cars maybe we've ever had in the studio i'm not even kidding you very very cool even the rfk like ribbon right here is detailed that is awesome that is awesome so the more you look at this car the more detail you just see i mean the little outlining around the chrome numbers the gradients it's all behind the logo it's the very subtle star um gradients as well it's just there are so many cool things going on with this car you also have uh what is I, I can't even read it i wish the wheels were not as blurry i'll be honest with you uh i do wish they would go back to the pre-2019 wheel design where the they had more of a hd uh wheel prints because i i can't really re uh, read that i think it says honor and remember i i honestly can't read that uh got castro edge right there fast at all you have the signature rfk stripe which is this right here uh, those three little like the little blue notches oh by the way they have gradients as well uh ford performance mac tools whatever that is simians and i don't know what that decal is Get the NASCAR Salutes logo, Cup Series, Goodyear. The Goodyear decal's a little bit low. I believe most of the car, if not all of it, is wrapped. Uh, the car is painted with this bright red. And as you can see, there's only a subtle amount of the bright red on the car. So I think this is a full wrapped die cast. Got uh, Brad Kozolowski right there on the name rail. Got Solomon Plumbing, I think that is. Get your B-Post decal. For the back end of the car, once again, the brand new 2024 Ford Mustang mold. Fantastic looking die cast mold. You got buildsummerins.com, Ford, consumer cellular, number six. We've already done a couple of reviews on the Brad Kozolowski die cast. So if you're a Brad fan, uh, check out those die cast reviews. Yeah. <laughs> He's got some cool looking cars, I'm telling you. He's got some cool looking pieces. And the chrome numbers, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm a sucker for, for metallic paint jobs, chrome, um, heck, even the uh, fluorescence paint jobs as well. So every paint scheme they run, they pretty much have chrome numbers. I love that. That's a great tradition to have. And it's kind of cool when each team has their own thing. You know, Penske for so many years had the Penske scallops. Uh, then, you know, Hendrick Motorsports for so many years, they had the Dayglow yellow numbers. You know what I'm saying? 
And uh, I think RFK kind of find themselves a new tradition with uh, the RF, you know, or RFK, what is it, 2022 debut. Uh, chrome numbers and all that stuff and the little side stripes down here. At the top of the die cast, you have the white roof number with a black and red outlining. I like how the red is very bright because the background is this kind of blue gradient, so the red really stands out. You got Build Submarines right there, Kislowski, and Blue Forge Alliance right there on the deck lid. I love that dark red, uh, light red gradient. I'm telling you, I've seen a lot of patriotic cars, right? Some of them are not really impressive. This is one of the most well thought out and well detailed die casts I've, I've honestly reviewed. I mean, I've seen a lot of patriotic cars. I've seen some very basic ones. I've seen some very uh, detailed ones, but this one might just be one of the most detailed ones ever. I mean, you, let's look at the hood again. I want to zoom in on this. There's literally someone welding on the car. That is such a cool thing. Uh, and they even did the transition around it, you know, the gradient with the shadow. They blended all of that in. And the sparks, it, it kind of reminds me of fireworks a little bit, you know. Fantastic job. And then making the, the hood logo kind of sideways, that just adds a little bit more to it. This is really one of the best patriotic cars I've seen. Great job by RFK. So glad a die cast got made. Highly, highly recommend it, man. Hopefully they bring something like this back to the 2025 Coca-Cola 600. Or, yeah, that's where it ran, Coca-Cola 600, because, you know, you know, July 4th, I don't think they run any uh, patriotic banners at the Chicago Street Course or wherever they run nowadays. But that's besides the point. Great look at Diecast. Thank you all so much for watching the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to show a couple more of the most recent releases in the studio. Trust me, you're going to like seeing these. These are really cool Diecast. 2024 uh, die cast here. This is John Hunter Nemechek's Dollar Tree paint scheme. It's even got Reese's on the hood. That is so cool. Check this out. Eric Jones, LMC Family Dollar Car, brand new Toyota mold, fantastic looking paint scheme, and the Hendrick Motorsports fans, Alex Bowman, darlings and throwback. Amazing looking paint schemes. That is all, everyone. Have a blessed one. Thank you all for watching Diecast Buffet. See you in the next video. Signing off.